Hey guys, Dustin here with Gym Reinforcements and I wanted to take you through a quick speed training about optimizing your fan page because far too many owners are not using all the updates that are on here in their favor. All right, so as you can see, there's a lot of options here on the left. You got all these titles up here on the top. And so uh, we just want to set these up to give you the most optimized fan page to bring you more eyeballs, to get you more sales, to help your marketing get out into the world, all right? So let's go through this one by one. If you don't have your fan page open, I recommend you recommend you do that. Let's do this together side by side, okay? So number one, if you're not familiar, what's really cool about this inbox is when you click on it, um, you can see your inbox for all your Facebook and your Instagram if they're, if they're linked up. So you can see messages from both, you can see comments from both. And then what's really cool is if you go to chat plugin right here, you can pretty much set up um, a, an automated conversation, all right? So basically, you want to uh, set it up. You want to go to set up your chat plug, set up your chat chat plugin, blah, and you want to uh, decide what you want to do, all right? You could use ManyChat, you could use something else, and you could set that up. Now, one of the things you could do without really having like any type of ManyChat set up is you see here it samples this on the side. Uh, it shows a preview of what your starting question will be. So we'll say, hey there, uh, we are excited to learn more about you. What is your main fitness goal? And so boom, you can put that as your first question that they read if they even just open Messenger without even pressing or writing anything that will pop up on their feed, okay? Then you could give them options of questions that are kind of preloaded, which are probably common ones you get. And so it's best you preload it so you can have a preloaded answer. OK, so where are you located? All right. So when they press that in, we're located at blank. And then we might put a follow up question. What city are you located in? So you, you always want every interaction with a lead to end in a question because then that continues the conversation. But if I just say we're located at blank. That's kind of a great way to kill the conversation, okay? Uh, how else can I contact you? So we have our email and our phone number. And you might, again, put which uh, or, or how would you, you know, or I guess I would say which form of communication do you prefer? Text, call, or email, okay? And then, you know, if they might reply, I like to text. Awesome. What's your phone number, right? It's a great way to get their contact info. And then the final one is what are your business hours? Now, I would probably change this for, uh, you know, the fitness industry to be more like what are your session times? Because that's what they're going to be more interested in. And so you don't have to list every session time, but you could say we have morning sessions from 5 to 11, evening sessions from 4 to 8. You kind of want to leave a few details out so there's something for you guys to talk about. And so uh, this question is, what time of day are you available to work out with a trainer? All right. So that's it. And then you can customize it. You could say, do you want it on the right side? Um, you know, and there's other uh, features here. So that is pretty much what you do there. And then you want to hit publish in the bottom right hand corner so that you can have all that stuff saved and your changes have been published. All right. So that's that's first thing first. Um, so we're going to go back. All right. And then uh, you're going to make your way down. Now, if you don't know, if you go to the lead center, you can see all the opt ins who come in off your ads. So that's a great thing to kind of check on. Um, Make your way down. Uh, if you ever want to post jobs, you know, uh, that, that works great as well. And then uh, you got your analytics. You can go to insights. So we want to come down here to settings, okay? So in terms of settings, um, there's a few things that you want to make sure that you have uh, set up. Let's go one by one. We got messaging. Um, that is all good to go. We want to hit page info. So again, a lot of people are missing this. You can customize the name, your username. So instead of being user 2121, you can write in the name of your gym and then a quick description of what you help people do. All right. Categories. I think they only let you pick two. So we went with fitness center gym and fitness trainer. Put in your information, your email, your phone number, and then your map. Okay. So again, this helps Facebook to find people local to you when they're locally searching for a gym near them. All right. 
Um, this business is permanently closed. That is not good. I don't know why that has been checkmarked. So I will put that on. Um, and then or I'll put open select hours. I will just put always. Well, I'll put open hours. Um, so we'll put uh, 530 a.m. To use most of our gyms are open at 8 p.m. And then what is this plus? Oh, to add more. Okay, so you don't want to put that. And it would be great if Facebook allows for hacks like this. Perfection. And I'm just doing a copy and paste. And so you should do the same for the times of your gym. We do not have Friday night. So I'm going to put 12 p.m. And then on Saturdays, it's usually like a 7 a.m. to 10 a.m. type of scenario. And then we are closed on Sunday. All right. So that's that. You could put your privacy policy. You could put the name of your Wi-Fi, which is kind of cool. You could put that in and then people can join it without having to ask for the password. That was something new that Facebook rolled out. And that is that. Um, I will not put cheap. I'll put at least moderate, might even put expensive. All right, so it auto saves. There's no way you really got to put it. Um, templates. So this is really cool. You can decide which uh, tabs are going to be at the top of your fan page. So I chose to start with about, photos, videos, reviews, services, groups. And uh, I turned off a lot of these others, jobs, drives. Okay, so we'll get to that. We'll go back to the fan page and look at that. Um, advanced messaging uh, that is if you're doing many chat I believe page roles who's an admin on your fan page uh, groups okay so this was what I was going to show you guys is do you have a group linked to this so right now we have a fit for life group which is our free group for people in the community to join so if you have a group that's linked to your fan page link that here okay uh, people on other pages, preferred page audience, uh, make it one made down. And I believe that is it. Okay. Appointment settings. Did we use that one? No, I don't think so. Okay. So what I want to go do now is I want to go back to my fan page. I want to show you guys up here. Okay. So you got your about where you have your likes, your t category, you know, all your contact info, Look, it offers Wi-Fi. I guess if they're on Facebook and they walk into the gym, it'll automatically sync them to the Wi-Fi because uh, it just transfers the password without them having to ask for it, which is kind of a cool new feature. You got your photos. You got your videos. If you guys upload any. Now, when they go to more, there's reviews so they can read that. And you guys should be screenshotting these and posting at least a couple times a week of one of your reviews. Services. So this is something I learned about new. That, that's fairly new. So you can add a service. So what's really cool is you can add boot camp, personal training, challenge, whatever you want to offer here as a service and they can buy it on Facebook or at least express interest. Um, so that's something that was really cool that I recently uh, got set up. Okay, so let me go into edit service. So here it is, semi-private training. I explained it. I put a checked on show the service, the appointment duration. And then I put an image. Okay, so that is pretty much what you could set up as well. Um, so that's a really cool feature that they rolled out is your service. Okay, like I mentioned earlier, your group, we have it synced up to a group, which is showing. I think it's already synced up from what I see. Yeah, linked groups. Here we go. So your group is linked up. Then you got offers. And so this is where people can actually buy something, okay? So $50 off of a transformation program. You can create whatever offer you wanna create. Uh, you see here on the left, is it a percentage off, dollar off? Um, is it a free product? Uh, and then you type in the dollar amount and the details, you add a photo and then you put a deadline. It's almost like a Groupon, like you gotta buy by this certain date. Can they buy it in the store? Can they buy it online and hit publish? And then boom, you're off to the races with an offer. So again, cool features that I don't think a lot of people know about. Uh, community, 
Uh, and then I think that was it. I think we turned off all the other tabs. So those are just the things I wanted to walk you guys through is just some things here on the left that might be helpful to help you get more eyes and some things in the tabs up at the top. I think this is the same stuff. So that is just a few ways to optimize your fan page. I also noticed that when we change our profile photo and our banner at least every eight weeks, we start seeing a little bit more interaction. So don't have a same stagnant photo for too long. Keep, make it interesting, change it up, and get people's attention, all right? So that is some great ways to optimize your fan page. Hope that helps and get you more leads.